Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 11th, the 11th and the 12th, so Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we're just going to see whatever comes up. Don't try to make this reading fit. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, don't try to push it and make it fit your situation. You could be dealing with a cancer. Just saying. Um, this is lack of willpower, lack of discipline. You may be having a hard time mastering your emotions. Things may be a little bit out of control at this time. Something could be stalled as well. Delays. Delays. Ooh. So somebody has to make a decision. <laughs> somebody has to make a decision as to, is this the right thing to do? Am I being honest with myself? Somebody may be thinking about, you know what, should I, should I, should I, or shouldn't I? Should I stay put, or should I really move forward? I mean, what should I do here? Oh my goodness, this is truly the case. Should I stay put, or should I move forward? You know, there's fear of growing old alone. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis where, you know, you're sick of being alone or you're, you're not thinking clearly, okay? Um, you could be bringing some undesirable conflicts into your life because you're acting too hastily, so just, just maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you need to slow down. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'll turn that off in just one second. I want to get the rest of these. Yeah, somebody is feeling lonely. Somebody is absolutely feeling lonely and... Probably, let me just get this focused in. Somebody is feeling lonely and wanting to be awakened, you know, wanting to be feel alive again. You know, I have, I have, uh, I have to make a decision as to whether I'm going to stay in this state of mind or not, okay? Because it feels like somebody is, is going, they're at a crossroads and they're, they're going back and forth as to whether they want to stay put or move forward, okay? I mean, what is it going to be? I have to make this decision. What am I going to do? Um, and they're very conflicted about the decision that they need to make. Um, I feel like somebody has taken a lot of time to invest in something that ha has no success. I've, I've already wasted enough time. Maybe you've wasted seven months or seven years because we have these two sevens. Somebody has invested in something that ha is not... Um, Becoming successful, you know, it's not it doesn't have any victory. There's no forward movement And because there's no forward movement, they're going through like there's a loss of self, okay? I've invested all this and I'm getting nothing in return. I'm getting there's there's nothing happening here So therefore whatever is happening whatever has happened. It's like now is the time now is the time for me to make the decision That's right for me you know, I, I need to allow this change to happen instead of fighting it.
because somebody is not allowing a, a chariot is a transformation card it is but it's reversed I'm, i haven't been allowing this transformation to come to its fullest potential because i'm still reluctant to go down that new path somebody is needing to be honest with themselves about a, a commitment that is not happening you know it's not growing there's no content in that commitment so now is the time to find your strength and your courage and, and that's what's happening somebody is finding their willpower that has been lost to be fair to themselves it's time to be fair it's time to be fair it's time to be fair to me it's time to balance out this lack with receiving you know i've been giving i haven't been receiving and it's time for me to receive it's time for me to receive i feel as though somebody has come to the conclusion that yeah I have regrets. I do. I have regrets over the past and it still hurts me, but it's time for me to realize that there's other opportunities out there for me. So I feel like somebody is starting to wake up, okay, because we have the Four of Swords reversed. It's like I'm starting to see, I'm starting to come out of this period of retreat, okay? We have these two retreat cards reversed. There's no more retreat. There's no more retreat. It's time for me to come out of this period of retreat and and show the world who I am, show the world what I have to offer. So I feel like today or tomorrow or next week is is there's going to be some sort of shift where somebody decides to take action in regards to whatever it is that they have been prolonging. They've been prolonging this new beginning. They've been prolonging this 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 step this step into the light you know so i feel like now is the time that it's time to face 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 the face the storm you know when I just looked at this card it was like I'm gone with the wind because I see the wind in this card the wind is blowing the leaves this woman is finding the courage to do the right thing for her she's already invested a lot of time in something that had no forward movement you know what i mean there was no no emotional reciprocation in it you know what I mean there was no faith I mean no matter what you did no matter what you invested in no matter what energy and time that you put into this situation there was no there was too much opposition there was no forward movement and I know I'm repeating myself but that's all that I can see it's like there's there was dead it was like these the nothing was going to happen no matter what you did nothing was going to happen and now it's time for you to accept this as a karmic situation with that justice card everything happens for a reason there was no forward movement because that wasn't it wasn't meant to be there was no change because whoever you were dealing with was refusing to transform themselves. They were refusing to change. So it feels as though somebody is deciding to accept the truth through courage and strength.
to step outside of their shell. Come out of this darkness. Come down from that mountain and no longer be lonely. I'm closing this door. And stepping through the new one because it's time for me to become alive again. This retreat and waiting, this retreat and waiting patiently, somebody's been waiting patiently trying to manifest something that isn't meant to be. has made them very discontent, bored, and at a complete loss, this retreat. But this retreat has also taught this person strength and self-worth and self-confidence and self-esteem. And now somebody is taking their own action to bring balance back to their lives. By it looks like investing there or planting their seeds elsewhere. It's time for me to plant my seeds someplace else. somebody had been focused or is still focused on the hurt still focused on the loss but I feel like with this card she's like dumping it out she's like you know I don't I don't even need this anymore I'm, I'm ready to let it go yeah it hurts to let it go but she's not even crying anymore. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying. There's nothing left in the cup. It's already gone. So I feel like it is a time of finding your strength to put yourself out there after a retreat. After taking a break to deal with a hurtful situation. Now it's time for me to go get what I deserve. The time is now because I have found my self-worth and my self-love, I'm ready. Sorry, I forgot to turn that off. Um, somebody has been really, really discontent and bored, just waiting for some sort of communication from somebody who is only hurting them. There's been, there's been a fear of change for quite some time, okay? There has. There's been a fear of change for quite some time. But I, I think that's over. I think that I think that, that fear of change is over because it's like she's, she's, she's dumping it. She's like, you know what? Yeah, I deserve more. I don't need this empty cup. There's nothing even spilling out of the cup. I don't need this empty cup. She's letting it drop. And deciding that it's time. It's time to step out. It's time to step up. It's time to become alive again. And let go of that relationship that was unhappy. This is turning away 
from arguments, turning away from a relationship, leaving it behind. Letting the dream die. The dream. That anything, that it could have been different. Oh, geez. And it hurts. It does hurt. There's a lot of regrets. There is a lot of regrets. There's sorrow. When a relationship has no potential. But. True suffering. True suffering. Like this. Brings true growth. Okay. So somebody has been grieving over a loss. Really hurting. Still looking back at it. Looking at it a lot. Oh. Yeah, definitely looking at it. Thinking about it. Wanting more. The hurt is so great, but knowing that I deserve more than this, I want love. So it's time for me to stop focusing on having a reunion with whoever this person is that hurt me and will not take action. And allow a new opportunity to come in. Somebody has been either rejecting an opportunity or missing an opportunity in love. Because they were still invested in something that had no success. Okay, Had no potential for growth. Now, whatever's happening, <laughs> four, four, four. I love them fours, I really do. All is well. All is well. Universal protection when you see four, fours. Angel protection, okay? Four, four, four. Angel protection. Something was not victorious and successful because... You are being protected. Invisible forces with 444. Invisible forces. You're going to get the, 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 what you deserve. Because you have found your strength to let go of this situation that had no success. For those of you that are still holding on to something and there's been no contact, there's been no communication, you're going to have to find your strength to let go and do what's right for you. You are being protected by the universe and angels. Trust that there is a reason why you have had to go through this retreat. You've had to go through this downtime. Trust. Because there's something better for you. Okay? 
There's something better for you if you could only realize that. You have to let the relationship end that is incompatible. Even if it means facing the hurt and allowing the growth and going through the grief that it entails. Going through that grief gives you strength, the ultimate strength. And on the other side of that grief is the ultimate beauty. So I feel like today somebody is, today, tomorrow, next week, or yesterday, you know, whenever it resonates, we're all on different timelines. Sometimes these daily vibes, they, they, they resonate with me a freaking week later. So just keep that in mind. Somebody is, is letting go of a discontent situation that they have been holding on to for way too long. Waking up, becoming alive, and shining their light again. I want love. I deserve love. And justice is about to be served if you have found your strength and your courage to do what's right for you, to plant your seeds elsewhere. So is there new love coming in? There could be. There could be a new offer. There could be somebody waiting for you. There could be. With with this and this, there could be somebody waiting. There probably is. I'm, I, you know, I got the chills. And in my situation, well, I had to turn my phone off now, didn't I? So, I believe that there probably is somebody waiting. There's somebody waiting for you. To step over that edge. You hear that calling outside? Caw, caw, caw. It's answering the call. <laughs> Oh my God, I just had, I just said I had to turn my phone off, didn't I? And then I just said answering the call. Oh. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Answer the new call. Answer the call. That's a sign. Pay attention to the synchronicities in your life on this day, tomorrow, next week. There's no coincidence, coincidences. This is what this is basically saying. Pay attention. Speak the truth even if your voice shakes. Oh my goodness. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And this is the case. Absolutely. Face the sorrow. Face the grief. Face the hurt. There's another opportunity. It's time to come out of this retreat.
Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Remember? I said that you were being protected. You have to trust. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. Remember 444, the angels are trying to give you a message. Are you listening? Do you hear the call? Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. The angels are with you and it's time for you to begin a new cycle and come out of this retreat and become alive again. It's time. It's time to rejoin life. Talk to you tomorrow.